M0FXB, let's get you using your GD88 fast, just using the radio, no code plug required. And we're going to do it using an analog repeater and a digital hotspot. So the first thing you want to do is get your radio into VFO mode. So we, with this top flat line here, you can, when you push it, you'll see the control go up and down. So that's A band, we'll call it A band, B band. Let's do the A band first. So when the control is in the A band, hold down this red button here, hold it down. Right now we've gone into channel mode, but if you hold it down again, you'll be in VFO mode. That's good. Let's do the both sections. So then we'll go to the B, controls at the bottom, and we'll hold it down, and we'll go into VFO mode. So you've got VFO, and just so you know that the PTT is just a brief press, and it moves it up and down, it's red. Right, so we'll do the A band first. First, now go menu here, then go keep pushing the up until you see the word VFO at the top of the screen. Keep going, there you are. Eventually you'll see VFO here. Now select. So now we can start setting the kind of frequency and channel we want to do. So we're going to do our hotspot on the A band. So all we do is, we when you press select here, you can go up or down and choose analog or digital. We want digital on that one. We can skip past the 5K Hertz. Now it's our receive frequency. This is a simplex hotspot. So we just select simplex frequency. So we select it. It goes purple. And now we can type in our simplex frequency. So four, three, one, five, five. Zero, and you need to do all the zeros to get to the end and then select. So that's our receive. Now, because our TX or transmit frequency is the same, we are simplex, we can leave that alone or we can type it in, in again if we like. We can choose our power when we go down, select the red line, so select and look power. We can go high or low, select that, keep going down. We're ignoring the off off because we're all in we're in digital now. Color code, yes, we've selected one, receive color code, TX color code, we've left that as one. Ignore the PATCS. Impolite, I've selected that as you can change that, leave it as impolite. RX group, keep it as one. It's, you do need to select a group, really. Encode is off because we're digital channel, DMR. Um, forget the disconnect, save VFO, okay. Then you click OK, and then you click OK again. So right now, if we back out using the back button here. The selection on the B band that we did, because the control was there, is a digital channel. So if I just turn on my hotspot, we should come to life. One thing I remembered about the DMR, you do need to get a contact in there as well. So hold down the... Um, menu or push menu go back to vfo select and then go down and remember now you have to add a contact the contact is basically the talk group you're going to connect to so we keep going down it said disconnect now if we select that now we can go up and down now these are the different contacts that have been pre-programmed in there that you have to put a contact number in. So I'll just select one of them. Let's do CQUK and we'll go select. And then we'll go down and save. Save VFO. Select. Okay. So we've got a contact now so that when we key, we we'll go back. When we key, and you need the PTT on the bottom bit by going like, Put in the red PT. When we key there, it will connect to that. Now you do need to create a contact, so I'm going to show you that. So what you do is you go menu, and you want to go until it says, go contacts. Good morning. The time is now. You want to go plus contacts. See that plus contact or new contact at the top. Now press select. Then we want to create a number, so let's push it, and we'll, we'll choose a common one like 91, that's worldwide. You can look up the talk group numbers, click OK, 
and we can name it. So we'll just call it WW. So we'll select and we'll call it WW. W. W. Click OK. Core type. Now you need a group core. So select. You want group core. And then save. It's saying it already exists because I've already done that one. But the point of that is that when you create that channel, so hold down the red. Sorry, go menu. Go to VFO again. VFO select. When you go down, I know I've already showed you this. You want that contact to show up, and then we've got CQK. So if we go back, like so, and now we turn on our hotspot. Here you are, it comes to life. So let's do the analog channel. If you do want the information to come through, you have to load a CSV file into the code plug. So we're going to select the A band for our analog channel. Put the control up there. Remember, hold down the red to get it into VFO. Hold it down. Now go menu. Keep going up until it says VFO. It says VFO at the top and select. Again, we've already got analog selected, but if you wanted to change that, you just select. And then when it's purple, you can change. But we're doing an analog channel now, so that's fine. We, that the step doesn't matter now the frequency output and input does does matter so the receive frequency is the output of your repeater and the transmit frequency is the input so you key the mic and that's what opens up the repeater and in this case it's uh, gb3 fi so to type the type the frequency just select it goes purple and then you can type the frequency select again it goes red go down one select your power wide or narrow ctcss obviously that's important the type of ctcss now the first one is your transmit one so that one i would say is important you want that tx sub audible is it sub well, well anyway select and you can change the tone frequency we want 77 down one signaling now the next one is signaling off on receive because i want to hear the repeater so i just leave that off it's more about opening the repeater up when we transmit and then save to VFO. Click OK and then you can back out all the way and we should be able to open our GB3FI repeater, which is analog. So we need to get the PTT at the top by pushing the red. And now if we key, we've just opened our analog repeater. So we've got analog on the A band. And on the B section, we've got our repeater. Now, we, we should be able to work them both at the same time. So volume-wise, when you're moving the control up and down, say I want to hear my analog repeater louder, I can set the volume now. When I move the control back down to here, and then I can set the volume separate. There you go. So we'll let that come to life, and then we'll, we'll see if we can hear both at the same time. PTT-wise, remember, PTT, push it again, PTT. So what you've got to remember with this radio, as our DMR hotspot, is that this is not an Anytone 878. You've really got to get that clear. This is a, a unique DMR radio. It's dual digital receive. Has masses of you know lots of good functions, but it's definitely not an 878, so you shouldn't really compare it to that. Anyway, you can hear my hotspot, and if we go to the A band, select A with the control, and now key as they speak. You can hear that we've just opened up that repeater. And we transmit it at the same time. Let's turn it down. Can't do it when it's talking. There you go. So, at the same time as we're receiving in the Talk Group 91, we're opening up and transmitting on our FM analog repeater uh, locally. So, no other radio can do that at this kind of money. And this that's what you're buying something like the GD88 for, you're not buying it because it's as good as your 878, you're buying it because it has its own unique sort of 
functionality and you can listen to two. It's like having two radios uh, and you can program it from the front. I know some have said you can't, but you definitely can. I've just shown you that. So hopefully this will help you with your uh, Kydera GD88 or mine is a Kydera 80 and you'll have a Radiodity GD8873. Bye for now. Please remember to subscribe to my channel.